What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at another player review. We are going to be doing the Spanish league selection. So again, to be honest, if you miss my English league selection, these players are very, very similar. They're probably about 95% when you compare them to their GP versions of the cards, which you can get for GP. But obviously people that are probably buying these are looking to get players for G for coins rather than grinding for GP. So we've already covered the English pack, but I will say that these are disappointing packs and disappointing players. You can clear the agent. We're going to go through it, and we're also going to show you the training guide. A few people were asking me in the last video to show the training guides. I didn't think that there was really a need to show the 11s or the training guides in these because these players are just so basic in terms of they are pretty much the same as their GP versions. But these are basically for newcomers, guys. Unless he have P unless he have bought. Uh, a lot of players and you're just looking to add your squad depth so we're going to start with a couple of these we're not going to go in too deep as i said i'll show you the bills at the end they'll flash up on screen for about 15 seconds or whatever um each and you can see we've got sergi cardona this guy is playing from cadiz and he is going to have no in-game face as well i know that puts off a lot of people he actually looks like silva david silva david silva so he does look like uh david silva there but he doesn't have the skills of him he's down as a defensive fullback very easy to train him up we'll show you at the end of the video but yeah i mean you're not going to be spinning for him honestly lads i would say don't spin for these man there's no point in spinning for these unless you want to get like players to have a design different design than their gp card right we also have sergio ramos here as well who's down as an extra front man He's a very, very decent card, just looking at his skills here. He's a very decent card, but I feel like with this guy, obviously he's going to be too slow. And while he does have beastly defensive skills, why get a player that has got like really good defensive skills and really good uh, defensive skills, right? Skills and stats, but is slow. When you can get a player for pretty much the exact same GP that has all the defensive skills, has all the defensive stats, and isn't slow. Do you know what I mean? So it's kind of a thing of like, are you just getting these players just to get them? Do you want to just play with Sergio Ramos the same way I like to play with Collar? That's a different situation when you, because you can train, you can play anyone. You can play any anybody in this game because of the way it's balanced and the way the gameplay works. Sometimes um, you can get any player to be your center back and he'll do a job for you. We also have Morata here as well. Again, he's on D rating this week. Just honestly, apart from being a super sub and his acrobatic finishing and one touch pass and first time shot, I mean, he is just basically a dime a dozen. There is so many of these center forwards that are target men that are 185 or 186 or more, and he's just very, very slow. He's very, very clunky, very, very like kind of like sluggish on the ball. Again, anybody that fits into this situation, like Lewandowski, like Lukaku, Morata, any of those guys, even standard uh, Cristiano Ronaldo, if you have a version of Cristiano Ronaldo, or Giroud, any of those will do the job here. Murat is actually quite faster than a lot of the target men, right? But he's not down as a target man. He's not as good in the air as those guys. And he's not quick enough as the smaller guys like Letaro Martinez and Bappe to do running gun. So I don't think the gameplay really, really kind of rewards these type of players. Kind of like lankier, taller players that aren't super run and gun, aren't super fast, but aren't tall enough to be able to be a target man. So he kind of falls in between the cracks. We also have Jose Haya, Gaia. Uh, this guy is pretty decent, man, as an attacking fullback. Don't bother training him up. I'll show you my build at the end. Don't bother training him up defensively. It's a very, very simple card to train, right? You just train him up. If it's an attacking fullback or a defensive fullback, you train the attacking fullback to be attacking as kind of an option, getting crosses in and, and switches and, you know, touching goals and overlaps. If it's a defensive, you're basically training him the same way as you would a center back. That is the easiest way of explaining it to a newcomer. Or if you don't really know how to train these cards, we'll show you his build there in a second as well. Goalkeeper, I never even bother with the goalkeepers anymore, man. There's probably about five goalkeepers that you can get for the first six months of your gameplay if you're not going to spend coins. You get Donnarumma, Oblak, Courtois, any of those. Again, this guy, he does have long throw and low punt. He does have unwavering form. He is 191 CM, but his stats are just not where they need to be, man. You need to have awareness and reflexes at least 90. I'm talking minimum 90 for any stat. And even at that, the goalkeepers are a non-issue, really. If you come up against a good player, they're going to bang them in, man. There's nothing you can do about it. Valverde, again, this is probably the pick of the pack along with Frankie de Jong, which we'll get to in a second. Very, very solid player, unwavering form, can play with, uh, right wing or CMF. Very nice tackling, uh, very nice tackling, very nice tackling stats and aggression stats when you train him up. We'll show you the build. And of course, he does have one touch pass, true pass and fighting spirit. And of course, a couple of other stats in there for shooting as well. It's a solid card, man. But I would say that standard Barella is probably a better card. Uh, you don't really need to get Spanish cards to have a, you know, to, if you unless you want to have a Spanish squad. 
Um, this pack is generally geared towards newcomers. Now, you know, Valverde is a very solid player. There's been way better versions of him released before, but if you are ju just dipping your toe into the eFootball waters now, this pack is good if you have a few coins that you got from the login bonuses or whatever, and obviously it's ongoing for 90 days, so you don't have to just splurge on these now. Get your free coins, save up over the next couple of weeks, and build a full squad where you can clear this agent, you know, you can clear this pack, there's no limits on clearing this pack. We also have Frankie de Jong, very, very solid, not the best version of Frankie de Jong, obviously that falls to the Barcelona type that they came out with, but if you missed out on that, he's very solid, man, he can play CB as well, very, very good on the ball, deceptively quick on the pitch and if you're looking at these stats and you haven't played with Frankie de Jong a lot of the players you know you have to play with the players man and, and not only play with the players you have to play at a high level with the players in terms of division one two or three to see how these players hold up against top meta players so if you've got Frankie de Jong and he's beasting in division six or five for you and you come up against Rijkaard and Vieira in division one and two it's a completely different ball game, man. So Frankie de Jong can hold his own. He isn't that slow on the ball. Like he's actually deceptively quick. And he's also very aggressive on the ball as well to win the ball back. He's kind of like Pedri. He reminds me of Pedri. Maybe he's got that special partnership license agreement boost that Barcelona and Konami obviously being partners. But yeah, he's a very, very solid card. We'll show you his build there as well. And then to round it off, we have Kuto here as an attacking right back. Again, all about speed, man. That's all he's about. Doesn't have an in-game face again. He doesn't have the best skills either. And he does have standard form on C rating. So yeah, there's not much to say about him. We'll show you the build. Gerard Moreno, I'm not even going to show you the build of him, lads, because it's, again, the exact same thing I said about Morata. These guys, dummy runner, or any guys that aren't kind of like those nimble center forwards running gun, like you're talking Latara Martinez, you're talking Mbappe, you're talking Jonathan David, you're talking any of those guys, Salah, any of those guys that can play a run and gun, it's either that or you play a target man, a guy that's over 192 or 3 that you just lump the ball up to. He falls into no man's land again, he's more of a creator, more of kind of like a Baggio type player without Baggio stats or skills. So yeah, again, I wouldn't recommend training him up and wasting the XP. Same with Isco, uh, AMFs are a dime a dozen, they literally throw AMFs at you. If you literally throw, uh, you know, a, a coin up in the, in the air at the moment, you will probably hit an AMF. There's so many of them there. Whole players, creative, it doesn't matter. Just get standard Pedri for your first 50 games and trust me, he will dominate for you. That's all you need to know. Barella CMF, uh, standard Pedri AMF if you're playing a 4-3-3 or whatever. He's a good card, man. He's a nice card, but it's just, there's no point in getting these cards unless you really want these cards. Just do a bit of research in the GP Marketplace and get the likes of Pedri, get the likes of Bellingham that can do it all for you. Last but not least, we do have the ex-Manchester United player, Ander Herrera. Again, a solid card, kind of like a, a, a mini version of Valverde in terms of his stats and his skills. Not as good. Can play DMF, CMF, or AMF though, and it's a pretty decent card. But for me, I honestly think as we switch over here to show you the builds, let me see how I do this. Yes, I'll just take away my face cam here, boys. Some editing here going on. But this is the builds. We're going to leave them up. We will be back streaming today in a little bit and we can go through them. Any, any questions that you guys have, we're just going to leave the builds down here. So just follow the builds and obviously then you will get the manager boost as well on top of these stats that you see there. There is Gaia there as well. And of course, we also have Morata. You can pause this video at any time, lads, and go back to the builds if you want to on the bottom left here if you want to. But yeah, I mean, honestly, with Sergio Ramos, you're going to have like his header his jump, his physical contact, all really, really high, but then his speed is only going to be 71. It's not the worst in the world, but you can get somebody that has got all these stats, like Jimenez or somebody like that from Atletico Madrid, and not have to worry about his speed, which is a big difference. You also have Cardona here. You've got Frankie de Jong. We have Kuto, Isco, and rounding it off, we do have Herrera. So that is it for me, boys. I will be back later on today with another stream these cards honestly man they are geared towards newcomers and watch out for my video today and for my stream because we're going to be going into potential cards that will be coming down the line which could be unbelievable that might be worth saving for if you have a couple of coins if you save your free coins from now for the next two months while this is ongoing or even three months right you will have enough to nearly clear an agent if all the login bonuses come and i'll tell you about that in the live stream and in my other video until then we'll be back soon peace don't forget to subscribe